pone muto. <laughs> Hello! Hello! So we're here at Hapa Ella with Hapa, my dear friend. She's and Mario I'm tonight. Mario again today. <laughs> she, we, are going, we are going to make um, chicken Brazilian. The Brazilian chicken pie. Brazilian chicken pie. Chicken pie. No, Brazilian. Wait a second, what are we making today? Where is it from? Brazil, I think. Okay, there we go. <laughs> That's what matters today. But yeah, but they think the ingredients it's her. Okay. <laughs> well, there's twenty here, so it can be one of them. <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, so I did this only once before and it turned out amazing. But it seems like uh, Beta knows the recipe better than me at this point. So we're gonna take a shot uh, at this, and we're both really bossy, so there might be some bickering around, but the, the pie will be done. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> he's lucky he's just on the camera all today. <laughs> uh, why you don't go over the ingredients while I'm... Um, okay. I'm oh, I don't remember the quantities. Okay, the quantities are written on the feed, so the ingredients are chicken we boiled this beforehand so today we can just shred it um this should have been boiled with uh, chicken broth until it's soft enough to be shredded um grated cheese tomatoes preferably real tomatoes but we didn't realize we had only one so we're also gonna use some diced tomatoes um eggs flour peas onions garlic and a little bit of canola oil for the batter um, How many eggs do we need? We're doing double the recipe today. So everything that we you see here, we're doing double. So for just one recipe, it's two eggs. Um, we're going to do four because we eat a lot. Oh my god, Mario's here! <laughs> I'm here, I'm here to help you to do everything that That's you need to really, do. You know what a curly <laughs> thing. <laughs> this is big mascara, so you oh, really wow, have to do that. Oh wow, good job. Ciao, Lorenzo. Alright, Lorenzo so I'm going to start just by shredding. I hope the house back there is amazing. Uh, we're going to start by shredding. Remember, you're the, you're the chef, so you can put Mari to work. Yes. Yes, you start the batter. The because batter. I'm just going to be shredding chicken. I... People know how to shred chicken. Okay, or well, should I cut yes, the onion? Yes, you can cut the onion. Okay. <laughs> can do whatever you want, Bella. <laughs> Mario. Mario, my name is Mario. Oh, Mario. Bella Mario. Mario Bella. <laughs> Berio. <laughs> um, I think you should probably film her uh, chopping the onion because that's harder to do than shredding chicken. <laughs> I'll just put it here. Well, re let's remind how we cook the chicken. I reminded them. Oh, perfect. <laughs> um, so this is how many people, for how many people, more or less? Well, it depends on how many. People are eating, is it quarantine, is it real? <laughs> okay. Last time we did two recipes and Andrew and I, we finished it in two days. But we also had it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, so. Hi Andrew, I'm sure he's watching something. I don't know, I might be taking a little nap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, ideally you want to boil the chicken a little longer than we did, this is not going super smooth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Forget about it, and then whatever you remember, it's ready. So it's 
probably more like half an hour. Yeah, 40 minutes. 40 minutes probably. Good. People like your mustache better. Uh, <laughs> a good trick too is if you have a pressure cooker, you can cook it the same way but in the pressure cooker because when it's done, you just shake the pot and they would just shred it by itself. Oh, that's a good trick. Yeah, but not a whole lot of people here have pressure cookers, so I figured the quality method would be better. Okay, can I just put this in the pan? Yes. Okay. So we're cutting three onions because we are doubling, like there are three middle small onions, you see they're like smaller than my palm. And, uh, and this is really to taste, right? Like we love yes. onions, but you can put more or less. Or none, I guess. Or none. Uh, I wouldn't recommend that. Hi, so. Joe. <laughs> Joe Fader just joined us. Oh, Hi, Joe. Is Joe making this? I don't know. I don't know if the hangover allows for cooking. Are you making it, Joe? We'll give it a couple seconds. <laughs> I think the sound is like kind of uh, delayed. Oh! Yeah, he's not making it today. He's gonna learn how to make it oh. and make it some other time. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this chicken should have boiled for like. Yeah, don't do the 30 minutes uh, thing. Do more. Do like 40 minutes, 45 minutes boiling. <laughs> Oh, Stephanie Valdez joined us today. Oh. Hi, Steph. Hi, Steph. I think they're all like very happy to see your kitchen. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because they like, I don't know. They it's a party house. They not, yes, because it's a party <laughs> house, I guess. And because probably they, they miss it. Yes. <laughs> probably they miss it. Steph, I've been dreaming about those string of pearls. She's gonna give me a cutting. <laughs> You got a thumbs up. So we have got a couple new people. So what do you guys want to go over? Yeah, for the new sure. Yep. So what I'm doing is I'm shredding the chicken that we boiled earlier this morning uh, with the chicken broth. And we roast to uh, boil it for 15 or 25 minutes, make it more like 30 or 40. Um, alternatively, if you have a pressure cooker, you can do it for like 30 minutes on the pressure cooker and then when it's done you just shake it and it's all shredded so you skip this part but we figured most people don't have a pressure cooker. So we're doing two portions, we do double the recipe. So how much how much chicken are? Two pounds here. Um, and then we have grated cheese, three tomatoes, four eggs, flour, peas, and some canola oil for the batter. Isn't two pounds one kilo? Did the original two. recipe yeah. call for yeah. or half a kilo? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> just checking. Uh, you, you, you gave me the, the I, I followed the recipe that she gave me. <laughs> and, and I forgot. Me, so I'm just checking. I forgot. I did forgot the eggs in the butter. So there are two eggs for the butter. It's not written in the post. I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> really, that's a brilliant. <laughs> How, how do you want the garlic? It's as tiny as you. So normally I will process the garlic, make it a paste, but just cutting tiny works too. And uh, is this a recipe that you do at home? Yeah, so like we, so tartar de frango is something pretty common. Like you go to like bakeries and stuff, they will, they'll have this available. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a very popular dish in Brazil. So super Like nice. parties, sometimes people have these at parties. Mm. Like I like I have uh, some Brazilian friends beside you and they all, they, um, made me pas de queijo ones. Pas de queijo. Pas de queijo. Mm -hmm. Oh god, I love that sandwich. Yeah. It's so hard to find the right ingredients here though, and when you do find them, they're so expensive. It's oh, yeah. Because you need uh, polvillo, which is uh, made out of yuca, and mm -hmm. everything that comes from yuca here is expensive. So. Mm -hmm. Understand, yeah, but uh, Harris Peter has them, they're expensive, but sometimes if you're craving, you just <laughs> that is not a factor of the new one. Um, yeah, but this is pretty actually. I started doing this because I was craving it and it was quarantine, so I was like, why not? Let's try baking this. <laughs> Elisa Bolognini, Bolognini, ciao, Elisa, hi. Ciao, Elisa. Are we learning anything? Uh, teach us something about Brazil. 
about <laughs> culinary history, about... We cook the best food in the world with the spice of the Italian food, right? <laughs> oh my god, this is uh, gonna be a battle yeah, yeah. today. We get out of the here. <laughs> and she's dangerous, y'all. She's dangerous. <laughs> A Spanish, so a Brazilian, and Italian. <laughs> Brazilians, we just get all the recipes from around the world and we include them. That's basically what happens. Mm. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm pretty sure that Brazil is freaking awesome. I can't wait to visit it. I miss the food so much. Every time I go back home, it's like, oh, hi, family, I missed you. Where's the food? <laughs> <laughs> oh, food, I missed you. Oh, where's the family? <laughs> So I put some oil, maybe a little bit. Oh my god, Betha, you're ruining my pie. <laughs> Do not use all that oil on your recipes. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. The oil was for the, the, the batter, no, not for the oil. For cooking the rice, I'm gonna put right? olive oil there. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> so Italians get Brazilian recipes and they improve them, right? No, I'm not <laughs> sure. Canola oil is an improvement over olive oil, but I'm sure. No, it's not, for sure. I just need to think about it. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so fun. Okay. If we don't kill each other by the end of this, uh, the friendship has passed the test. <laughs> chicken in the pan with the peas and the tomatoes to make like the inside the the, 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 um, the filling of the pie and now I'm making the butter which is made with uh, we are doubling the recipe so which is uh, like four eggs three cup of uh, flour was there no milk on the recipe? there is milk okay and uh, there is uh, don't remember anymore though. <laughs> Mario Dos is checking. <laughs> no, I'm not. Checking who's on there. Some milk <laughs> that we will put out in. And, uh, and then you need to add the flour slowly. Don't do the whole thing because it's going to get heavy at some point. And so you want to start putting it slowly. And all this oil. Well, we're rusty today. Um, we're rusty. Can we. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are rusty. We're hungover is what she means. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> I actually cooked breakfast and uh, woke up earlier. Delicious breakfast. But I am I'm hungover. Not. I'm not. But yeah, that's... Um, it happens. Can you hold? Can you... It happens. It happens often when you guys are here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, can you check the post with my on my Facebook? Mm -hmm. Thank you. So in the meantime, that we check how much milk I actually has to, have to put because I don't remember. Uh, I don't <laughs> I didn't it's, check. It's a lot. And she didn't. She didn't. A lot. Uh, we just crack the eggs in here. <laughs> don't do that. The, and the shells should be out of the. Yeah, yeah the shells. A cup of out. milk. Just a cup? One for cup. one. Uh, okay, oh, so, two, so two cups. Yeah, so two cup of milk. And uh, there is a white measurement thingy under the sink. Yes, no perfect. Them. Thank you. We can use the pea thing. Yeah, but the peas are the last thing, so we're going to have to change it. Is the pan. So I got a question. Is the pan on? Yes. yes. At it's what? It's not oh. high because I'm still shredding the chicken. Okay. No, it's like medium. It's medium. Uh, yeah. medium? Yeah, the chicken medium fryer. fryer could increase the temperature, but it's not. But it's, uh, that's fine. You'll be okay. Yeah, yeah it takes a little bit of time of this, but it's, it's, it's on. Uh, okay. So, uh, what did you say? Two cups of milk. Okay. Do this. <laughs> it's like you can give her 
suggestions, she's just not going to take them. That's <laughs> 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 my point earlier, that she wouldn't listen, so I didn't bother. Actually, Eloise, how is the other meal? So you don't have the one. Oh, no, 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 let's not ruin the pie with low-fat milk. No. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo. I like it. You're, yeah. hi you're hired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we have two cup of meals here, four eggs, and we, I repeat, we are doubling the recipe. Four eggs and three uh, cups of flour. Any type of flour will do. <laughs> uh, yeah, we we currently have the self-raising flour. So if you don't have self-raising flour. Uh, just use um, regular regular flour and uh, baking, powder. baking powder. We're still gonna use baking powder. <laughs> you you're still putting yeah, it. Okay. Uh, we are last still... time it worked, so we're gonna repeat exactly what we did. <laughs> okay. So obviously this is the first time for all of us to make this recipe, which uh, I don't recommend to make a video with the first time when <laughs> you make a recipe. <laughs> hey, it's the funnest one yet. I'm sure. Uh, I hope it, the the noise is not too too bad. Oh. But, Probably. Yeah, like I'm like I'm mixing the liquids right now, so that then I can incorporate the flour a little bit, little by little. Um, then we want. Hi Ryan. Ryan Janelli just joined us. Oh. Ryan Janelli. Mm -hmm. Oh Ryan. So we have uh, three fourths of cup for oh one. Oh my gosh! And also, this should have been and chopped really the... small. That's why I'm the chop part. Me. What do you think that was for? And I said, "I'll yeah. cut for you." <laughs> and yeah, I am still the bossy it? one. I, I am the bossy. That's fine. It's gonna taste good because we like onions, but ideally, you want to chop really. So I was gonna use this because then it would do, and then it would be really tiny. You got scared for a second there. <laughs> She's gonna chop her head when we're done. <laughs> sure. Uh, so I'm putting the oil here. I'm the bossy one, remember. Remember, I'm the bossy one. What? No, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. have to remove all the knives in the kitchen and put them away. So I'm gonna put the chicken in here so we can start to right. frying a little bit. Mm -hmm. okay. So we have the onions and the chicken. The onions, the garlic, and the chicken in here. And the garlic, fantastic. And, yeah, and they're gonna be here a little bit before you put the other ingredients. Uh, just so it cooks a little bit more, it absorbs that juice, that flavor, and then do a little taste test to see the salt. So I think it needs more salt, so you add more salt. Mm -hmm. I think it needs a lot more salt, so you go for it. <laughs> it's hot. Now what are we doing here? Oh, the butter is almost ready, I guess. <laughs> we put the... Uh, I mix the liquid first with the eggs, milk, oil, then I put the flour. We should put the... We, you, do you want to put the um, baking powder? No, we do that right before we set it up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, any salt? I didn't. No, I put all the salt in the filling. Okay. Maybe a pinch of salt? <laughs> <laughs> she can't help I knew herself. It. I was waiting for it. Do it. <laughs> it's an Italian Brazilian chicken pie today. <laughs> oh, this is. I guess that is. Yeah. <laughs> this is so funny, people. <laughs> yeah, you're almost having a blast because somebody <laughs> is talking to Bata like she talks to other people. <laughs> We have a lovely mustache today. Can you show us? I do. I love your mustache. It's impressive for being made with a mascara. It's really impressive. I have many talents. Counting score is not one of them. Okay. 
So I think we're done here. The butter is finished. So the idea, like I've never done this, so I don't know how you will proceed. And um, so now we need to wait for this to be ready. Yeah. Um, and then we're just gonna put the butter, a little bit of butter on the bottom. Put the feeling, a little bit of butter on the top. And then we're gonna do it. So how many people will this feed? It depends on whether you're uh, Andrew and I or, or a normal person. Uh, <laughs> in theory. In theory. Like, like just one piece per person? Maybe like... Like you serve it with like for dinner with a salad yeah. or with some... some if you have actually or some snack. appetizers, maybe like eight people. But if you're gonna repeat and have these pieces, maybe four people. Yeah. Okay, so... Like the two of those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so one one pie fits two people. <laughs> if you're quarantining, it can be it can be for yourself. Hey, hey, what about three people? The cameraman has to eat. You're making two pies. Yes. <laughs> We're making two pies for that reason, so we can have. Okay. Um, also, I make fun of beta, but I'm Brazilian, so I'm just gonna add stuff that the recipe does not tell you to. Oh, thank so, um, you. Some Italian seasoning. <laughs> <laughs> Same Italian seasoning. Yeah. The Brazilian pie. Also. Yeah. And oh, Italian is everywhere. Yes. I would add the pepper, but we have a fake Extreme. Spanish in the house, so yeah, I would add some crushed pepper. <laughs> but I don't, I'll just add it to my piece once it's done, because Guillermo, out of respect and solidarity. Um, we don't do spicy in Spain. It's a sad. misconception. No. Yeah, I love that joke. Can I tell that joke? Is it appropriate? <laughs> Which one? The one that Europeans invaded the entire world looking for spices and then they decided they just like flour. <laughs> <laughs> and potatoes and corn and, potatoes. and tomatoes. <laughs> um, I use this as a shinomoto in Brazil. This is really uh, popular, but it's really hard to find here. What's so, an alternative? What um, I think it's one of those, you know that Japanese taste like umami, like it's an extra taste. It's not bitter, it's not sweet, it's not... Mm -hmm. Anything else? Uh, this is a common seasoning in Brazil, but it's hard to find here. So ignore this one. Well, maybe someone will find it. Yeah. How do you pronounce it? Ajinomoto. Ajinomoto. Yeah. Ajinomoto. And then I also put a little Ajinomoto. bit of black pepper. Because black pepper, <laughs> you eat black pepper, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, despite being Spanish, I eat black pepper. <laughs> Apparently, we don't like anything except for flour. And potatoes. And potatoes. And tomatoes. And, tom and seafood. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. It's so hot. Yeah, it started like even the last time. In Italy, like you can uh, easily understand uh, which are the recipe after the discover of the America con American right. continent. Very small. Very small. Very okay. small. <laughs> and uh, because uh, we didn't have tomatoes before, tomatoes come from here. So, okay, so tomatoes, very, like the only one tomato that we have because we. Where is the opener that I have put over there? No, no. I have put it here. That's uh, <laughs> and. Uh, very small, I'm gonna cut it very small. <laughs> you can use a chopper right there if you want to. Oh, and remove the seeds. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is starting to look and smell really good. Mm -hmm. Like uh, I guess to 
Just to soften the cheek a little bit. Yeah, exactly. The cheek a little more. The cook the cheek like, a little this more. Is the broth that cooks it in. Exactly. And, uh, but we also, like, you can also reuse the broth for a soup or anything. Which you're also gonna do. So don't throw away anything. <laughs> Remember that. Okay, that's more enough. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, okay. this is this is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm actually okay. making the, the it reads just a little bit more. I want okay. it to be a little more golden before I add the tomato. Because yes. okay. once you add the tomato, it's not yes, gonna start golden. Yeah, yeah. I understand. So you want to you want to like um get some pieces some of the, yeah, some pieces of the of the chicken a little bit crunchy. Yeah. Mm. Just some color, it looks yeah. nicer and it's not just white chicken. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So we wait a little bit more and then we will put the tomatoes and then we will cook the peas. Right? Yeah, we cook a little bit with the, with the, with the tomatoes and with the broth. The, the, the peas are the last thing because they dissolve really easily and you're gonna bake it afterwards. So the peas, like the last thing you do, um, just to mix it in to put it to bake it. Mm. Look clear. <laughs> While I was watching Mario or Mario dos. <laughs> I'm the I'm the OG. I'm Luigi. Actually, yeah. I'm the OG. Oh, oh wow, God. I'm getting a beating today here. Well, Rafaela is in charge today, so and it's her house, so exactly. um, we're visiting our um, friend. I I guess. I don't think that's that. <laughs> have we explained uh, why we're here and not in our kitchen? What? What? It's a new kitchen. Have we explained why? We're quarantining together now. It was too sad, separate. <laughs> Yeah, like I explained it in the um, in the, the post. post. Okay, uh, let's add tomato. Um, I think I'm gonna get rid of some of this juice uh, just to okay, get one of the sweetness. Um, so, sure. Thank you. I'm gonna get rid of all of it. Mm. So in theory, we want fresh tomatoes. Yes. And since we have only one. Uh, and I thought I had two, but we had only one. And we need to, well, normally, how many tomatoes would you use for this? Three. Three? For one portion? For one portion. Oh, and so it would like, be six yeah. for, for two portions. And, and this can says. It doesn't. Well, that is probably six. Yeah, let's, I think let's, so. let's say that it say. is. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they say. But yeah, alright. It actually looks pretty good. Yeah. So we are using like the canned tomato, like chopped canned tomatoes. Nice. And we just diced it, thank you. And we just uh, eliminate, uh, drain the juice though. Yeah. Because we don't want too much juice. Like if you're using the diced canned off. tomatoes. Because you're going to add the broth. Yeah. Alright, you let it fry a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, no, it's too hot, sorry. <laughs> They know we're the secret ingredient. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. I got it in Durham. Oh, I'm going to search for it. I don't want it. And, um, yeah. That's pretty much it now. Give it a little bit, put the broth, let it cook. Okay, what type of um, pan for the oven do we need? This guy. No, it's down here. That one? Yes. <clears throat> and we're going to need to because we're going to move. Okay. So last time we were able to fit like the sticker on and that one. Okay. So, so you can put some yes. oil on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Oil and, oil and oil. Oil. flour or just oil? Um, I didn't just oil, but you can okay. probably put some flour in. Okay. That's a good idea, actually. Okay. So to not, like, this is already a non sticky. Um, pan like a whatever tray oven tray. yeah but last time i didn't but, do anything and like it, it got so little yeah stuff, so yeah yeah but to be sure exactly to be sure to like uh be able to take the um, pie out we just like um spread some oil here and then i will spread some uh, 
some uh, flour. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna add the broth. So this cooks a little bit. How much broth? Um, two cups if you're doing twice, and one cup if you're doing. No, what was it, Beth? Um, it was that, right? No, that was the not in the recipe. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that's it. <laughs> Well, it's whatever the recipe says on the written instructions. Okay, I will I'm going by eye because that's how Brazilians cook. <laughs> that, is, that, is, that is what I would do. Yeah. Like, so how much did you put now? Like two cups? Uh, yeah, that, no, it wasn't full. So that's pretty much one cup for now. I'm going to mix it in. And I'm gonna... Okay, so like we have uh, two, uh, we are doubling the recipe again. So like uh, this is so maybe one half, half a cup. Half. Yeah, so maybe half a cup for one recipe. Okay, half a cup for one recipe and, and one, one cup, cup for, for the, the double. double. Okay. Correct. So do I put, put oil over here? I don't think that one needs it enough. Okay. Up to you. Is that okay? No, I, I have my... Then do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why she asks. She, just do it. <laughs> but for this one, I actually don't care. <laughs> so. Bet uh, we're learning a lot of good, uh, useful kitchen right. tricks with you yeah. in your episodes. A lot of little mm. tips and tricks. Okay, so I'm just going to cover this a little bit so it cooks in the juice. And then, this is the fun part if you want to get a little adventurous, like the recipe says peas. The last time I also added a little bit of corn and it was delicious. Some people like to put uh, heart palms, palms of heart, I never remember what the order is. Um, you know, heart. palm hearts, hearts of Oh, the palm. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, some people really love that. Uh, I like the peas and the, and, the, and the corn, but you can also add a, a, a very thin like chopped carrots. So like you can invent in this part and just add whatever you, you want to the filling. Do you think you can do it without the chicken, just uh, like for vegetarians? Um, you... I think for vegetarians, a really good option would be the, you know, when they have that jackfruit, like jackfruit oh, yeah. cooked as meat. This would turn out really good for that. Oh, nice. Well, it's difficult to find, so. Um, I think like the uh, hair Steeter and Lowe's always have some options. They are expensive, um, but they are a good option. Okay, we have if you're doing it like constantly. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna So to prevent the food of the that the things get sticky, if you put like some oil on or butter. Uh, mm. your pan, and then you do this with mm. flour. I do that with, uh, when I bake cakes. Yeah, well, this is gonna be like a sort of a cake, but just salty, right? Yeah, for much. Savory, yeah. The crust doesn't really look like cake, though. It no, looks no, no, more like a pie, but like a yeah. pie, but yeah. But even for pie, you do this, I guess. I don't think so, actually. I don't know. I have no idea. I never did. I never did pies. So I've been thinking that after I leave, mm -hmm. I think Anbeta moves to coastal North Carolina in the future. Mm -hmm. The I show think... is over. <laughs> no! Boo! I think Rafa should be the new Mario. I think Beta got to the, the finest of it. <laughs> I was trying to have a moment here. Look how serious they are. Oh, little little pause. We're back live. Okay. Okay. Listen. So this is good enough. You just want to leave a little bit of juice. Do you want to zoom in? Can here? you see from here? Or so like we're gonna let it sit a minute before we put on top of the batter. So like this is a good amount of water to leave. You don't want it too dry, uh, but you also don't want it to soak the the batter underneath it. So this is like. A good time to go ahead and put the peas or whatever else you're adding. So I'm just gonna add the peas now. Um, and I'm thinking about adding some corn. What do you guys think? Yeah, no? if you want to. I'll see if I have I'm not, some. Like, I'm not a big, I personally you don't like a corn. Big okay, fan. we can do No, I can, I can do with, or, but it's, would, I would do without. Okay, yeah, yeah we're gonna do that. It's fine. I'm not like a big fan of. Uh, yeah. Like, I like it when it's. Uh, um, no. Boiled like the old, the old, the old piece, like the. Old yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just adding like a little yesterday. bit more because I have like a little tiny bit of piece left. Yeah. It's not worth so keeping in the freezer. Yeah, not, but we wanted to yeah. cute in the cup so they didn't yeah. fit. <laughs> <laughs> there you go.
Oh, this smells so good. So how do you call this in Portuguese again and in Brazilian? Uh, torta de frango. What does it mean? Chicken pie. Chicken. Frango is uh, chicken and torta is pie. It's pie. Mm -hmm. So birthday cake? Bolo de aniversário. Bolo. It's not cake, it's pie. Uh. <laughs> Interesting. A torta in Italian is cake. Oh, really? Yeah. How's uh, cake? No, torta is in, in Italian is cake. How is pie? Crostata. Uh -huh. Torta in Spanish, in Spain, means to get slapped. <laughs> what? So una, una torta is you slap. So how do you call pie then? Tarta. Oh, yeah. That's so crazy. Mm -hmm. Funny. One little word can mess it up. Yeah. <laughs> Give me some tarta. <laughs> It can sound dirty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is pretty much ready. Oh, we're gonna let it sit here a little bit. So uh, turn it off. Should we put should we put the butter here? Yeah, so we need to make mix in the baking powder now. Oh yeah. Which is here. Um I think it was a tiny spoon of the recipe for. But this is surprising, so we're ju just doing this to make sure to do exactly what I did last time. Um, but the flour should be enough. Okay. So, so just a spoon. Yeah, just a spoon. Okay. And now you mix in with the spoon and not with the vroom vroom. The vroom vroom? The vroom vroom. Is that the Brazilian uh, word No, word? that's not Brazilian, so speak English is the second language call it. <laughs> um, this is exactly what I do. Also, when I don't remember what it is, what's the name of the things? Is it make the noise? Yeah, it's called onomatopoeia. Yeah. So how do you say that in English? <laughs> onomatopoeia. Okay, that's good. And in Spanish, onomatopoeia. Ah, oh, that's perfect. Onomatopoeia, cool. <laughs> ah. It's like you ruined it. Right and in German, oh, <laughs> I'm so. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, the, the Latino blood making fun of Northern Europeans. Oh, yeah, it's been super fun. Oh, yeah. Through Latino, the one else. <laughs> okay, uh, listen, so what I think we should do, because we're not going to be live for the baking, right? No. Okay, so we're going to put the batter here so they see how you put it together. Um, but we're not going to do both because ideally you want to let that sit a little bit so it's not super hot when you put on the batter. Okay, does that make sense? So we can do one to show them how to assemble it. But then you should let it sit to, before doing the other one. Just how in case long, that do, how long should it sit? Just until it's not super hot. So like a few minutes, like 15 minutes? Yeah. Okay. Uh, how do we cook the, this? Like we are... Uh, I'm it? Yeah, yeah, no. How, like uh, what is the uh, oven? Um... Yeah, I'm getting my phone for that. I think it's at 350, <laughs> but I don't remember the time. <laughs> what is in Brazil? Like, do you use uh, Celsius in Brazil? Yes, uh, 180. 180, so it's probably like 390. It's yeah, 350, 390. Yeah. Okay. So it's 180 Celsius and uh, whatever conversion three, in Fahrenheit. Three, three, three. <laughs> if it's in Fahrenheit, learn Celsius. <laughs> Yes, please. Well, but if you have a stove that counts in Fahrenheit, to make sure you know the Fahrenheit, otherwise it's not gonna cook. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and do you want the oven hot? Preheated. Yeah, yes. preheated. So we preheat the oven at three fifty Fahrenheit or one hundred eighty Celsius if you are um, somewhere. And uh, we are showing you how to make uh, how to assemble one. Uh, because uh, in uh, just to show you what is the process um, but at the end we will uh, make it uh, a little bit later because we want the chicken colder like we want the chicken that is like right now the chicken is too hot yeah, I don't know if it matters, but they do say well, do it think, a little bit. Yeah, well, I think that it does. Sense. I yeah. think it does matter. Also, this is totally a Brazilian recipe website because it says to keep it in the oven until it's golden. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't give you a time. You just check it and see if it's good. <laughs> That's how we cook. Uh, so, okay, so I guess that maybe... Let's maybe assemble one. one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, do it. So, you don't want it too thick. It's going to feel like it's really thin, but last time we did an experiment, so this one was completely covered. And for that one, we were running out of batter, so it was really thin. It turned out way better. 
So it is a little counterintuitive at this point, but you just want it a little, uh, a little bit of it. So you make a first layer with the butter yes. that is gonna be the bottom. thicker? Uh, yeah, the top needs to be as thin as you can make it. Uh, but the top you can just sort of do like a normal and like just help us a lot. So you want to put another spoon? Sure. I just don't want it to be super thick. Okay. Yeah, so it's like it's different than uh, the pie here in the US so that they are... Oh god, yeah, no, that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> we like the filling. <laughs> Yeah, so it's really just the bottom, you just want to cover, okay. so when you're cutting it, there's stuff to pick up all the filling, that's really just the purpose of okay. it. Okay, so pretty much like this yes. is what I'm doing, Beautiful. and I'm uh, distributing the, like, I think it was like two, uh, what's the name of this? Spoon? It's not a spoon. Yeah, okay, um, three foreigners here. <laughs> this, whatever, <laughs> this, that I don't remember anymore. Big yeah. plastic spoon. It's not Big. a spoon. Is the one that you use for the soup. Two of these in here, and you distribute it. <laughs> hey, that works. <laughs> and uh, I think that Carla, my friend Carla, told me the other day what it was. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't remember. Okay, right. so ooh, that, ooh, this is heavy. This is gonna have to get close right now. Oh, yeah. So then you put the filling, and then like if you're only doing one pie, you're gonna put the, all the filling, right? Um, and this one is thicker than the other one. So we're just gonna put a high amount of filling here. It's going so good. It smells so good. So this is smaller, obviously. So it's this is one of it. The, the tray is smaller. So we're yeah, but it's taller. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm oh. putting a little bit. When do we add the cheese? After this. Because the cheese also helps cover it because you want it as thin as you can possibly make it so it's fine if it's you know there are a couple holes because then the chicken will um, brown as well so you okay, really that's it so it, do you prefer you can do it either either tall or yeah thing like yeah. it depends from what you how you from what you it. have at the house like the the traditional one that we always see is probably more similar to this one so it's where well, yeah. you have like a thinner uh pie but we that's what we have to work with <laughs> and then you cover the cheese you put don't be shy yeah exactly this is the best part right so oh my god yes. let's do it i can't mm -hmm. wait to eat this <laughs> what you say? I can't wait to eat this. Can we just eat it now? You don't, we don't have to wait. Uh, <laughs> and so, this is so really the Brazilian way, right? It's like you, you're calling the exact measurement. I would just, I would cover it uh, generously. That would be my measurement. Yeah, because it depends is... on your Do we have enough dish. cheese for the other one? Yes. Yeah, yes. there is more. Oh, yeah, cheese. the yeah. <laughs> massive bag of cheese. Okay, this back. is the important part. This is tricky to do, but you really want it really thin. Okay, this is crucial. Yes. I mean, if you like the crust, it doesn't matter, but I, I like it when it's thinner. So you're going to put just a little bit, and then you're going to spread it. And if there are holes in it, that's fine. So it's more like one spoon or one spoon and a half? Oh. Yeah, but again, it depends on the size of your dish, right? It's, it's tricky. Um, oh, let, let's, okay, let's, 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 let's... Like, it is easy oh, because there's cheese there. Yeah. If it was the chicken, it would be impossible to do this. Yes, it's true. Because it would, like, yeah, go down. Exactly. Interesting, interesting. So like this, I, I will uh, go live again later to show you how it is, in any case. It's like I'm not gonna leave it. We, will we can do post a photo, photo once it's We will done. do a yeah. follow up. I always do a follow up. Oh, okay. uh, when I do, like, like I do like five seconds of follow up. It's like a yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm just gonna do a little bit on the corners now, just cause it's easier to serve. But the rest is pretty good. That's a good trick. Yeah. That's 
So now you let it bake, you put it in the oven, preheat it 350 Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius. And then after, I don't know, like 20 minutes, you start taking a peek at it. If you have the light in the oven and once it's golden, it's ready. <laughs> we'll tell you how long it takes here uh, on the updates. We cannot time it. How do you know when it's ready, Rafa? When it's golden. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's awesome. not uh, heated yet, so we'll come back with the update. Yeah, so when the, the what is it, 240, when it will be at 350, we will put it in and uh, <laughs> we will come back with the update. Thank you, Papa! Thank you, Woo! Thank you okay. for chopping the onion. You're welcome. welcome. Thank you, Mario and Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> Does that make me Princess Peach? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the dragon? Yeah, I prefer the dragon. I look, like the, I, look like, <laughs> I look like Toad today. Okay. We okay. should show you. We should show the crew. Come here, Luigi. Guillermo is still in pajamas. He's Luigi. Toad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll come back. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Nom, nom, Bye. Nom, nom, nom. Bye.